Welcome back. This is Jason Levine with the Dice Tower with another Gen Con preview. I'm here at the Plan B booth, and I'm here with Emerson, as you know him very well, um, who did previously both the Century games, Century Spice Road, Century Golem, and you can see the playmat for the one. But this year yes. is exciting for you. There's a lot of new stuff out that you've done in yes. the line. Let's talk about Century Eastern Wonders first. The sure. Expansion. Sure. So let's talk about this one, Century Eastern Wonders. Yes. Um, your first expansion for the game, but it's also a standalone. It is actually a standalone. It's, it is a, um, it's a continuation of the game. It's a, I'm not sure if expansion is the, is the most accurate term for it. So in the box, it is a game that is familiar to people who play Spice Road, but it's also a new game in and of itself, but it can be combined with the previous one. And we, you're using the same components, but it's a different rule set. So, in a way, it's almost like it's another game. I know. I mean, I loved, in this one, I really loved the um, whole concept of your, instead of having the cards and you're using your card tableau, yes. you have a map tableau, and that's how you do your trading. Yes, correct, yes. That is correct. It's very interesting. How did you come up with this as kind of a sequel, in essence, to the game? Okay. So, when I... When I completed Spice Road, and that's, that was uh, supposedly off to the printers and getting produced, is that I had an idea in the back of my mind for what if we turn it into a board game. So that was, and this was before uh, the, the meeting that we had with Plan B to come up with the idea for the trilogy. When they said, can you do a trilogy, I said, I, do, I think I have an idea for the second game because it's always been in the back of my mind. I've just never actually committed it to, to paper. So that's where this idea came from, is to actually have a map. Now this one combines. There's a play mat, and if you use it, yes, you could you could combine both the original Spice Road with this and make kind of a com combination game. Tell tell us about that for those who yes. don't know. So in the box, you're going to get two sets of rules. So one set of rules is for Eastern Wonders, the the game itself, the base game it, itself. There's another rule sheet that will describe how to play uh, the combined game that we're calling Century from Sand to Sea. The play, The nice thing about the play mat. The nice thing about the playmat is that in the playmat it allows you to use the tiles and it also has space for the cards that you need to play the Sand and Sea version. So this can be used for both the Eastern yes. Wonders and for Sand to Sea. Yes, these playmats are very functional. Um, we're not going to pull it out here, but they're very functional yeah. and if you like the game, it's definitely worth getting the playmat for this one. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, can you give us a sneak pre preview or what you're working on for the third one in the trilogy? Oh, okay. Well, here at Gen Con, I actually brought two prototypes of it because we're, we can't decide which direction we're going to take it. So we have one that the primary mechanism is tile laying, and then the other one, which is the primary mechanism, is a variation on work replacement. So I presented both of them, and we're trying to evaluate which one is going to be the one that we want to pursue more. So it's still, yeah, a lot of things are up in the air. I know some people have thought that when, when we, the, the trilogy was announced that it was all done and complete, but that's, that's not quite the case, but we are definitely working on developing the third one, and it's supposed to be released next year. I have a better idea. I have, I have a better idea. Um, we'll, we'll cut there. Hold your mic up. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I have a three, two. I have an even better idea. Okay. How about a quadrilogy? And you could use both of the mechanics, the tile laying and the worker placement. That's a lot of work. But then we're gonna get fun products out of it. That's true, that's true. But you know that it does go exponentially up. So this game combines with one other game, right? Century three needs to combine with Century two and Century one and one, two, and three. So it introduces three new combinations. So now if we introduce Century four, how many combinations, oh, we turn this into a quiz. How many combinations of games can you make from that? Let's see, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven combinations of games. Nope, there's more. Because there'll be four with one, four with two, four with three. That's three. Four with one and two. Yep. Four with two and three. Yep. Four with one, two, and th three and yep. four. Right? Yep, and four right. alone. And four alone. That's seven. That is seven? That's I seven. Miscounted. I counted eight in my head. <laughs> Maybe so I should start doing design because I could <laughs> do math well. No, actually, it helps to play the games well if you could do math. Yes, yes. But if not, yeah. 
maybe we could get a, a sequel to this. I think we're close. I think we're close. So there might be a sequel in the Golem Edition line as well? Well, I personally would love to see it. Uh, I've been always trying to convince Plan B to do it. I don't know if they are going to do it or not, but I'm hopeful. I I'm think, hopeful too. Yes, and if people out there, they want a Golem Edition, buy more Golem <laughs> There's a sales pitch. Buy more Gollum editions. No, if you want it, write comments. If you want it, just yeah. write comments in this video and say, we want Gollum edition, um, Century um, Titan, Century Titan, which would be like yes. the, the bigger version of Gollum. So you'd have Titans out there fighting against the Gollums. Sure. Um, of course, you have another game, which has been one of my favorite games of the year this year. Really? Yes. I love this one. The Reef. Oh. Reef. Um, I love this one. It's, it's kind of, well, I don't want to explain it. You explain it. <laughs> All right. So in this game, players are going to be creating a coral reef and getting victory points because that's very thematic. Or I'm sorry, we're going to be earning, I'm going to call these sand dollars because you're earning sand dollars. Okay. The object of the, well, there are, I'll explain the game mechanics. There are two things that you can do in the game. You can either take a card or you can play a card. So it's very, very simple. So when you take a card, there's going to be four face-up cards. You could take any one of those. Uh, if you take the one off the top of the deck, you just have to put a point or a sand dollar on one of the other ones, the one with the lowest printed value. Now, when you play the card, the cards have two sections. There's a top section and a bottom section. So you take, you take advantage of the top section, which will allow you to put two pieces on your board, and you can place them anywhere you want on your 4x4 four four grid. The only restriction is that you can't have it higher than four. Then after that, you would look at the bottom section of the card and you will score that section for every time it appears in your coral reef. So you could score those things multiple times as long as you have multiples of those patterns. So it's a game that sort of ramps up as you, as you progress. You'll be scoring the cards once, then later on you may be able to score them twice, and then finally you may be able to score them three or four or five times. I know. Like the, When I played this, I just felt like, you know, you want to kind of get cards and you can look at your cards and go, I'm going to be able to chain these cards together and do this, then this, then this, then this, and make, make these patterns get the point. There's a little bag here. So yes. this is, what is this? This, I believe, is called the King of the Sea. It's a, basically a fish expansion. Ah. There's a fish token there. And on your turn, you can move that fish token. And if you can get that, uh, the fish to be on a piece that scores, you'll score an extra point. So it's just a little something to think about as you're playing the game. And this is exclusive to the convention, or will you be able to get it in retail or buy it through Plan B's website? As far as I know, it's convention and through Plan B's website. Um, I believe those are the only two, but hopefully they'll be available a little bit wider after that. I know, I'm looking forward to the extra little challenge. Yes. Um, I think this is going to be... It's going to be a lot of people's top 10 lists at the end of the year, this game. Oh, it's, I hope so. It's Thank you. really well done. I mean, Thank you. you're, you're really good at these kind of abstracted style. Like, this, even Century had this whole abstracted style to right, it. Right, And yeah. you just do a really good job at putting these together. Thank you. So uh, what else is in the works that, you're, that you've been doing? Okay. I'm not sure how, much, how many of them I could talk about. <laughs> can I talk about the city building one? Of course you can. Wait, he just said, can we talk about city build one into my mic? Um, of course you can. Oh, that's what you were Remember, we, okay. we, we mentioned that. Last time I spoke with you, we mentioned right, it. Right, right, yes. This is the Dice Tower Central, isn't it? That's what I've been told, yes. It, it is Dice Tower Central. Okay. Let, let's tell everyone more. You can tell more now about it. Okay, so it is a title coming out from Arcane Wonders. Yes. And it's going to be, I believe it's going to be either released or possibly kickstarted next year. So that's, that's as far as I know. And it's a city building game uh, where all the players are building one city. We, we, we were lucky. We were able to snag him for a Dice Tower Essential to do a game because, see, his games are so good. We're just thankful to get you to do <laughs> one game. So I have another one with Eggertspiel. I, well, so right now, tentatively, it's with Eggertspiel, and we're hoping it could be an SN2019 release. Ah. This one is a civilization building game. So it's going to be a big heavy game, because Eggertspiel does this heavier will, games. That's correct. So this will be my heaviest game so far. And yeah. Eggertspiel is obviously associated with Plan B, so it's a good That's correct. It's a good partnership you have going here. Yes, yes, absolutely. And obviously, I'm going to have Century 3 next year as well. Yeah, so you have a lot of products coming out. That's exciting. Yes, yes, very exciting. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say, today, if you didn't know, is... is Happy birthday! 
Thank you, yes. Today's my birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Of yeah. course, when you watch the interview, it won't be. Right, right, yes. But for now, happy birthday. Have you been having, oh, has it been a good birthday? It's been a great birthday. Thank you. Any fun plans tonight after, after the convention shuts down? Probably just a dinner. That's about it. Well, enjoy. We always Thank love you. having you on the show. Thank you, yeah. Um, it's a pleasure for those of you looking for, for things. The whole Century Line, the wreath, lots of stuff out. Yeah. Um, and thank you, Emerson, as always. Yes, thank you, Jason. This has been a pleasure. Yes. So for the Dice Tower, this has been Jason Levine with another Gen Con preview.